Split applying nitrogen is a popular topic this spring. A convenient and less expensive way to do it is the topic of today's Iron Talk. Late season nitrogen application requires either irrigation or a high clearance sprayer to accomplish. But should you really wait that long to get the job done? Corn is estimated to use 80% of its nitrogen needs after V6. So applying a good portion of your season's nitrogen mid-season makes a lot of sense. The catch is, you need to get the nitrogen applied in time for it to become available for the plant. If you're looking for a nitrogen application tool, the newest models on the market today have some important updates over machines that were on the market a decade ago. Here are some things to look for. First, how will the nitrogen be applied? Y drops are a good system in areas that get timely and plentiful moisture and humidity. However, if things turn dry, nitrogen can still be lost. For that reason, you may consider a coulter at this timing to get the nitrogen safely in the soil where your roots can find it. Second, you don't want to run over any more crop than necessary. Look for a short hitch pin to axle length, like with Demco's new liquid applicators, to follow the tractor well through the contours of your fields and reduce crop damage. Plus, find a toolbar that can lift up quickly and easily to protect your crop when you turn. Third, depth control is important, so make sure that your equipment has an even center of gravity to ensure an even down pressure as the liquid applicator's tank empties. Hydraulic down pressure helps keep coulters at precise depths as well. If you're interested in applying nitrogen at this timing, but would prefer to use a mounted toolbar and side tanks on your tractor, that's a good way to get the job done as well. Split applying nitrogen is getting more popular as yields go up and as nitrogen management becomes even more critical. Talk to your agronomist about the proper timing of application and the equipment necessary to get the job done right. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.